flaky shrimp DIY faux cross stitch emoji sweatshirt. So many adjectives on this project. Hello, best friend. Hello, best friend. <laughs> anyway, tell everyone what we're doing today. We're doing a faux cross stitch uh, sweatshirt. It's another excuse to decorate loungewear, which we have, is a trend for us. To be honest, sweatshirts are sort of making a comeback fashion wise. And we're standing here and just saying, welcome home, everyone. Today's tip comes from the website Who, What, Where that aggregated the 17 best DIYs from Pinterest. In the original post where we were getting our inspiration, they did a faux cross stitch rose and it reminded, um, reminded us of the emoji rose that we present to each other when we're watching like The Bachelor. Here's what I'm gonna be using. I'm using this white t-shirt. I'm using just a plain white crew neck sweatshirt. You're brave to get an all white sweatshirt. White hot, yeah. But wearing all white is, well, it's a sensation. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very me on me. Here's some other things you're gonna need. Super easy tip, fabric pens. But I also just used a Bic marker that I had, like a, like a, you know, like a permanent marker. Yeah, it's so it requires you to make the fake stitches in like a grid. And so she recommends putting like a piece of tape, she like masking tape off sort of the section that you want to do. Generally when that, like when I'm me meant to eyeball a grid, like it just all like. Well, yeah, this show loves a sweatshirt. So we're already starting in a great place. Some of these paint pens, just FYI, you gotta um, iron them in. But some you don't. So I don't know what kind you bought. I can't tell you. I can't be the boss of you. You need to figure that out yourself. Handle it. Hey, it turned out pretty good. It turned out real nice. From far away, this looks like a popcorn shrimp. Oh, yeah. Crispy, buttery flakes ring the outside. Spicy little tail over here, shades of coral. Sure. There's like the cartoony ones, the veritas of like a tempura. I see that tiny shrimp and it looks like I could just plug it right off the screen and pop it in my mouth. It gets me all fired up for fried foods. I chose the emoji that I feel most represents myself and a facial expression that I make most often. Dubious, worried. What are your top, your top three emojis? The ole as a punctuation. Oh, I like the party hat. When something's gone really, really bad. Hey, honey, we've got a gas leak. It's gonna be a couple hundred dollars. Party hat. The cat with the hard eyes. Nothing says romance, you know? We keep it fresh. We do what we can, you know? We do what we can as a couple. I bet you don't even know what this one is. I'm gonna send it to you. Ooh, ghostly. There's the ambiguous fart poof. Fart poof is a great one. Oh yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> the thumbs up is such an F you. It's like if people are sending you a thumbs up, it's because there's no middle finger emoji. That is. <laughs> I mean. Babe, we have a house ghost staying with us tonight. Is that cool? Yeah. Wow, this with the white pant, right? Or working out, think about that. You know, everyone arrives in their Lululemon. And I have a shirt with like fried foods on it. I think on the whole, I feel pretty good about this. 10 out of 10, would do again. 100%. 100%, ole flamenco stomp. Don't give me that thumbs up. I know what that means. 